Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be looking at building another one of our screens so we're going to look at creating our create form so you see here on the screen when you actually tap this button you're actually able to you know present a screen fill out some information and actually create a new person so we're going to be mimicking some kind of submission form now for this tutorial we're going to be using a form for our create form over a list since we want to have a form that users can actually import data into and if you want to learn more about forms then actually check out my video that covers form in the swift ui sessions playlist so we're going to be using a lot of concepts that we discussed in our previous video so let's get straight into it so since this view doesn't actually read data like the other ones instead instead it actually submits data we actually don't need a local json file for this because we're not going to be rendering any json onto the screen so the first thing we want to do is actually create a new view in our create folder called create view so let's go into our structure here and then within the create folder we're going to create in here a new swift ui view called create view okay cool so this is going to be the view where users are actually able to create you know and you know input their information if they want to now our other screens we have to actually set a background and whatnot but because we're actually using a form this will automatically give us a background color so we don't need to add one but just so you can actually see the form on the screen let's just add this now so looking at our designs, you'll notice that we have three text fields on the screen here and we also have a submit button, we have a title and we also have a button in our toolbar as well. But one thing that you'll notice is that the submit button is actually not part of the section here where they're all combined, it's actually its own section on its own. So how can we separate it out? Well we can do this by using just that, a section. So we have to add in a section just for our button exclusively so that it's not part of this first bit here which is just the information that you can input. So let's actually do this now and then we'll refactor them out to make it cleaner like we did in our previous video. So if we go back into our screen here, what we want to do is just remove this text and just type out form to get a form onto the screen. So now you should see that the background automatically changes because we're using a form. And then like I said before, we actually have three text fields. So let's create three text fields. And if you want to learn more about text fields, then you can check out my video about text fields in the Swift UI Sessions playlist. So for now with our text field, we're actually not going to give it a value to bind to. We're just going to give it an empty string as a constant. We'll actually come back to this when we actually hook it up to our view model where we actually send our network request to the service. And for our label here, we're just going to type out first name and then we're going to duplicate this. All right, cool. So now that we have our first name in, what we need to do now is duplicate this for our last name and our job like in our designs. So let's just copy this and then duplicate it. And then we'll change this to last name and then we'll change this to job. Cool. And now if you look at our designs, you'll see, like I said before, we have the submit button separated. So let's add in a section And then within this section, we'll just add in a button and then we'll give it a title and an action. So this will be submit. And then the action will just be empty for now. We'll handle that later. Okay, cool. So this is looking good. So as you can see now, just quickly by using a form, we've actually created our mockups quite easily. So now what we're going to do is actually separate this out where we actually give these a bit more context similar to what we did in our previous video. So let's just create a private extension here. And then it's gonna be on create view. And then now let's just create some views. And we'll just cut this out, and paste it in there. And I'm just gonna be laser. So we're just gonna copy this and then change this to last name. And finally we'll handle the button.
and then we just need to put this back in so we've got to say first name last name and job all right cool so now if you look at our swift wire preview you'll see that it looks the exact same and we've got more context in terms of what our views are within our form so it's a lot more neater which is great cool so now let's actually try and present this screen from our people view. So what we're going to need to do use here is actually the sheet modifier. And if you want to learn more about this, then check out my video in SwiftUI sessions playlist about how you can present and dismiss views in SwiftUI. So we're going to need to go back into our people view. So let's just do that now. And then within our people view, we're going to create a new state property for handling the presentation of our create view. So let's just add this in. So now we have our new private property, which is our state variable within this view. And we set it to default by default because we don't want the view to be you know, presented automatically as soon as the screen appears. So what we need to do now is we need to actually bind this to some kind of sheet modifier and then control turning this to either true or false. And that will in turn present our create view. Let's first of all, just toggle the value when someone taps on this button. So in order to do that, what we need to do is scroll down and find our create button. So within our create button here, we actually want to call toggle on that property we just created. So in here, we want to say should show create dot toggle. And now this will either set it to true or false depending on its value. So if it's true, then it will change to false. If it's false, it will change to true. Cool. And then now we need to actually attach the sheet modifier to our Z stack so that whenever this is true, it will present our create view. So let's do that now. So just to create a bit more space, I'm going to collapse this toolbar and this on appear here. And then underneath it, I'm just going to say sheet. And then we're going to use the one where it is presented and content. So the is presented is going to bind to some kind of Boolean. And if it's true, then it's going to present whatever is inside of the content closure. And if it's set to false, then it will dismiss whatever's inside the content closure. So let's just do this. And then in here, we're just going to bind it to should show create and if you want to learn more about bindings like so then check out my video on a swift UI playlist about bindings and then within the content we're going to just say here create view like so all right cool so let's test this out and see what happens so now if you hit this play button and you hit the plus button you'll now see that our view is now presented one thing to note as well is that if you actually look at our designs you'll see that the create view actually has a title and a done button as well. So let's go into our create view and actually add in the navigation title create. So I'm just going to do this now. So on our form, we'll just set a navigation title of create. Cool. So let's go back into our people view. And then now let's try and present that again. And you'll notice that the title is actually not appearing. So why is that? Well, when you present a screen, it's actually not within a navigation view because you're not actually pushing to a screen. You're presenting a screen on top of the current view, so it's not within that view's navigation stack. So in order to fix this, we need to actually wrap our form inside of a navigation view. So let's do this now. So if you go inside of your create view again, what you want to do is actually embed this form within a navigation view. So to quickly do that, if you just hold down command again and then choose embed, and then now, if we just type here navigation view you'll now see that you're actually able to see your navigation title so let's go back into our preview people view and then this time hit plus and then now you'll see our create here which is looking all good now the next thing that we need to do is actually add in the ability to dismiss the view so we're going to need to actually add in a dismiss button onto the right hand side here where you can actually tap done and it'll dismiss the whole screen so what we want to do is essentially just copy what we did with our toolbar within our people view, but this time apply that to our create view. So let's first of all, just copy our toolbar from here. And I'm just going to put this within the create view. So we're going to add that after our navigation title, like so. And then we should get an error saying that this create doesn't exist, which is fine. So instead of using this create, we're actually going to create a new button called done.
and this is going to be a button so let's just create let's just replace this create with done and then within this computer property i'm just going to copy this and then we're just going to change this to done cool so now when you run it you should now see that you have a done button in the top right hand corner within the navigation bar which is great now that we actually have this in place what we're actually able to do now is actually dismiss our screen when someone taps on the done button now this can actually be done a few different ways depending on your os but we're supporting ios 15 as a minimum so we're going to just use the dismiss environment value so let's actually just define and set this up at the top so at the top of your file here we're just going to type environment and we're going to use a key path to access the dismiss action within the environment like so and then we're just going to say var dismiss okay cool so now we have our environment value so we're actually asking the accessing the dismiss capabilities within the environment and we're marking it as private so that you can't accidentally access and initialize this from an outer context so what we need to do now is call our dismiss action within our button so you scroll down here we want to remove this to do and replace this with dismiss like so cool so now let's actually just test this out so we just go back into our people view and we hit resume and then run it you hit the plus button and you hit done you'll now see that it dismisses it now one thing i have realized and i feel like this might be a bug with the swift ui previews is that if you actually dismiss the view you're actually not able to reopen it again so just to test it out properly on an actual simulator so now in our simulator if you tap the plus button and you hit done it will dismiss it if you tap it again you'll see that we can keep on dismissing it and if you don't want to just if you don't want to tap done to dismiss it you can actually drag it down because of the sheet modifiers capability okay sweet so we've actually set our screens up now so we've now got our create screen we've now got our people screen and we've also got our detail screen as well so this is all looking pretty good so that's everything in this video if you enjoyed this video i'd really love to hear your feedback in the comment section below also as well if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit notification bells to get updates for whenever i release a new video that's everything from me i'll catch you on a bit deuces